everyone welcome back to my channel today we're making strawberry cookies with my little girl and she's going to give you instructions on what not to do so if you want to know how to make this stick around and watch us cook this recipe is for three dozen cookies so we're going to start off by preheating our oven to 350 degrees now let's grab a large bowl and add our egg lemon juice oil vanilla and sugar until everything is nicely mixed if you eat the cookies right after they come out of the oven, you're going to notice how much lemon flavor there is to it. But if you wait a little bit, it'll go away. It just helps keep the strawberries from turning brown. Swirl it around, swirl it around. Once everything's been nicely mixed in, we're going to go ahead and combine our dry ingredients, the flour and the baking powder. Crush, 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 crush. Crush you all up. I did use gluten-free flour and Splenda to bake with and I gave these out as little treats for my daughter's teachers and they had no idea. I received so many compliments when I gave these cookies out. They had no idea that I was a diabetic and I was using gluten-free flour and it just tasted amazing to them. So no one's going to know if you make it like this. It's going to be really tasty either way. Crush, crush it. Come on, strawberries, in you go. Oh my goodness, I'm actually doing it. Oh yes. When you're done baking your cookies, you can add some powdered sugar on there to sweeten it up a little bit more. But since I know I'm not gonna be using powdered sugar because I'm diabetic, I'm adding a little bit more vanilla to give it more flavor. Pick it up. Fold. Smush. Pick it up. Fold. Hopefully everything's nicely combined by now and we're just going to add the cookies right on top of the parchment lined baking sheet and bake these for 15 minutes. I went ahead and sprinkled some sugar on top of it and baked it and this is how they looked coming right out of the oven. If you guys like this recipe, please subscribe. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.